Hello to all of my students. I wanted to send you a real quick communication as we enter into our third week of school. And I want to start with the positive, which is the majority of you. Thank you for the people who are doing positive things, for accepting things the way they are, not the way they should be. You're making the best of what the circumstances are. You're self-disciplined. You're working on your own. I'm fully aware that online you have to do a whole lot more of that than any group of students ever and you're doing it so thank you i appreciate the people who communicate often with me let me know what's going on and i really love when people have goals i just want you moving in the right direction even if it's hey i did lousy freshman year i just want to pass sophomore year that's progress some people have very high goals like i want to get all a's and get scholarships regardless of who you are as long as you're moving in the right direction big thumbs up thank you that's great and unfortunately that's not everybody now this other group good news is it's early in the school year and you have a chance to turn it around now what i've observed from this group is they're not treating the class meetings like it's a job they're not showing up again if you're not there it's only going to hurt you okay when you have a job to do you have to show up for that job unlike the spring this semester has a grade i don't know if people have bought into that now last spring if you said you know i'm not going to work very hard on school why should I? There's no grade. I get that. Now there is. So don't compare the spring to the fall. Different situations. I can assure you that credit recovery is unpleasant, whether you're a fifth year senior or taking Play-Doh or paying for summer school. I assure you it's a lot easier to get stuff done now. And again, for the clownish people, please bear in mind you have a lot of time on your hands nowadays. Try to be clownish off of the work hours, okay? Now here's two visuals to hopefully motivate that second group. Okay, this is from uh, Public Review, recent statistics, where 100 students enter Clarenceville as ninth graders and 85 graduate. Those 15 people, I don't know what happens to them. I don't want any of my students to be those 15 people. And I know we're different people, but I know we all like money. And this is from Northwestern, or Northeastern, excuse me, University. And it's the amount of money you make every year based upon your education level on average. So, the more education you have, the more money you make. So no high school, you are at the lowest. Here's high school. Okay, and again, $8,000 difference just on this jump. Times it by 30 years, it's $240,000. It's a lot of money. Okay, now for everybody. Here's where we all should be at this point. Number one, you've sent me an initial communication telling me who you are. You've logged into my Google Classroom at S45OSAO, my YouTube page, and or my Twitter at SauceWH. In other words, you're communicating with me. You've completed the creation of your own textbook where you wrote the history of the last six months. You have a working knowledge of the first four words from the Big 100, historical perspective, historical scale, primary sources, and claim assessments. You have an understanding of the faulty thinking that we call logic fallacies. And you get prepared for the quiz on Wednesday. We have a little time until then, okay? So, as I leave you, please know that I am here to help. That is my job. I know this situation is not ideal for anyone, me included. We're going to make the best of it. I'm relying on you to be self-starting more than any group of students I've ever had. So please brace yourself for this and rise up to the occasion. Now, considering these unprecedented circumstances, I want to be as helpful as I can to get you all to a good place. So don't hesitate to get in touch with me. And I'll tell you what, as an old guy, I know something. This all comes out in the wash based on all the decisions that you're going to make, the, the truth and the reality hits at the end. So if you do the right things, good things happen to you in the end. If you do the wrong things, it comes back to bite you in the end. Your sophomores and juniors in high school, you have time to fix yourself. This is a chance to fix yourself. So I genuinely hope that all of my students wind up on the good side of things. I'm here to help you get to the good side of things. So um, if you're not on the good side of things, that's up to you. Okay, Make a conscious effort to change, and I'm here to help that change. So have a good night, everybody, and I will see you next week.